Under stock management, click on stock count under actions on the left hand side of the screen. Print out your stock tally sheet by selecting print full stock count. Choose the format for your stock tally sheet such as number of columns. The number of columns could be determined by how many storage locations that exist. You can also choose which cost centers you want to count. When finished, click on next. The stock tally sheet will give you a full list of products for the chosen cost centers organized by category. To print the sheet, click on print this page at the top of the screen. When you have filled in the sheet, return to the stock count page and choose full stock count to page by page from the input stock count options. This will allow you to enter your closing stock in exactly the same format as your stock tally sheet. Enter your closing stock count from the stock tally sheet into the count column. You can use the plus keys to help total the count. Take care to enter the correct case size as per the stock sheets. Also make sure you enter zero if the count is zero or F&B will calculate a theoretical closing stock for you. When all of the page is filled in, click on save and move to the next page by clicking on the page number. Once you have entered all your closing stock, click on save and return.